Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to another exciting, exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use SS E Edit Script Fix Old Rim Mods Water Flow by Unblessed. What this mod does, and it very simply, is basically if you're converting a mod from old Skyrim to the new Skyrim, you're going to want to use this script. It's designed for, and you will need SSE Edit in order to also use it. First thing you're going to want to do, understand about this mod, is this mod basically changes the, old, the water cells from old Skyrim to the new Skyrim. You see, the old Skyrim water cells would flow in one path and, one, and only use maybe one cell. In the new Skyrim Special Edition, Skyrim's water flows in many different directions. And it's a much more uh, pristine look to the actual game. So what this mod does is, and when you basically try to convert an old Skyrim mod to the new Skyrim, and, you, and you've done any editing to the water cells or near the water area, it can break the water flow and it will look like this. You'll find a line, depending on the water um, texture you're using, it will also ha have it broken up into different sections. Sometimes you'll see a gigantic, um, you'll just see water missing, period, when you're, when you're um, converting mods. However, when you use this, this script and um, convert the water over, the Skyrim water will look just like this. No problems, nothing at all, looks just like normal water. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Files, and you're going to want to download manually. You, like I said, you will need SSE edit, so click on that, and you're going to want to download that and put it in it, and put it in a, in, a, in, a, in any file you wish to, to use. So go ahead and download. Okay. Now, once you've converted a mod, and I recommend going to this tutorial by DarkFox127, Creation Kit SSE Tutorial Convert Mods to SSE. I'm going to want you to, I, I'll have a link in below, the description below so you can go ahead and do that. I highly recommend afterwards um, watching this tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to go to the file and you're going to um, unzip it. Once you unzip it, go, click OK. You'll find the file here. These are the two files you're looking for. These, these two little um, files. Go to SSE Edit, wherever you've put it. Mine is in my mod tools. Go to Edit Scripts, and you're going to copy and paste them into, into the kit. Try to override those. Okay, awesome. Now you have the, the, the scripts. You want either one, create a, a patch file, or two, you can edit the mod directly. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Skyrim's Beast of Tamriel. I've already converted the mod into uh, Skyrim SSE. Um, I'm going to install it. Let's give it a moment. Now the reason I'm doing Beast of Tamriel is because the spawn points are around um, certain parts of the actual game. So all the spawn points in um, Beast of Tamriel have been changed um, to certain areas near water. And I w this will require you to use the actual sc um, script mod for this. Here's Beast of Tamriel. So you go up here, and next is my manager. You go up to SSE Edit, click on that. Select None. Go down to Beast of Tamriel. Click OK. Now this is the mod I've already done through Dark Fox's um, conversion, but now I want to finish up by doing the water fix. Wait for it to load. You can either, one, create a patch, or you can run the script. I'm going to run the script directly on the mod since I've already um, converted it. Once this is, I'll, I'll skip ahead in the tutorial so we can go ahead and just get straight to the script. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply filter. 
you're going to want to actually apply the script first. I'm sorry. So you're going to go to sc apply script. You're going to look for this one. One, either make a patch. If you're already, um, just, if you know how to make a patch, I'll you go ahead and you're going to put this on that, that, that part of the mod and run the script there. Or two, you're going to do fix water flow for Skyrim mods. That's the script you're going to run. Just click on that and click OK. As you can see, it's already processed 5,464 um, records. Now that you've done that, you're going to have to take a second step because this it doesn't. The script is great, but it doesn't get all of the actual um, all of the actual um, cells. So you're going to want to go to apply uh, apply uh, apply filter. You're looking for water cells. Okay, so you're going to go all the way down here. You're going to click water. All the way down here, click on water, and then click filter. All right, so this is the part we want to make sure that all the water cells have been updated. That's right, updated to the new Skyrim Special Edition. You click down here. You're going to go down to World Spaces. Since this is where you can find out where the actual scripts are going to be. It's usually under the orange. Click here. You're going to go down by block. And you're, yes, this, is the, this part does stink. But you need to make sure that you do this because it's very, very important that this process is done to make sure that all the cells are converted over to the special edition. Because if you don't do this, you will have cracks and you may have actual missing water cells in general due to, due to the mod. You're going to click on the mod here. As you can see, this is it has transferred over. Alright, so this one's good to go. Or the next one. Riverwood. Okay, that's been fixed. This is what you want to make sure that the scripts are doing. That you have water flow NSE from the actual um, the new Skyrim game over here for special edition. You're making sure that the if there's an update um, for water flow that this is over here. That's what the script does. Okay, that's converted. Okay, here's the, here's where now here's what you're looking for. As you can see, the script it, it it applied the script, but it didn't apply the update to the mod. So what you're gonna do is all you're gonna do is take this water cell because the height is very very important. That'll 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 um, actually cause it'll keep it from cracking. You're going to take this, you're going to drag it over to Beast of Tamriel on the default, and you're going to go ahead and click Yes. As you can see, the mod no longer has the conflict, so it won't cause the cracking. Now that that's done, just click OK over there. Come down here, and you're going to check these cells as well. As you can see, they needs to be updated. Drag them over. Okay. Come down here. Do the same thing for these two. Come down here. Drag this over. And you now officially converted the mod. And it's water cells. You shouldn't have any problems with their water cells. Check one more time. Yes. All right, guys. Everything has been updated for this mod. Do the water script. Click exit. Click Beast of Terminal. Click OK. All right. That's it. That's literally what you got to do. Now what you've just done is you basically caught, uh, kept this these crack this little line break here from happening, and you um, made the water look pristine. All right, guys, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you for checking out my tutorial. Um, this has been a um, tutorial for SSE Edit Script Fix Old Rim Mods by Unblessed. If you please, it, please guys, please endorse him. He didn't have to do this. He did it himself with the script. And this is the process he, you will need in order to convert your mod from Old Rim to the new Skyrim Special Edition. Okay. Um, if you like my tutorial, please um, like the video and share it. Um, please subscribe if you like my tutorials. Um, I will try to make as many as I can. Anyway, my name is Tony Mullay. Thanks for the, cl the, the click, and you have a wonderful day.